You can't watch just one. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest Steve Carell moments. Hey, God! No, he turned it sideways. Kill shot! Kitchen! It's a kill shot! Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're ranking the most humorous and hype-worthy moments of Steve Carell's enviable body of work within film and television. We're gonna try and hit a lot of beats from Carell's career over the years, so as not to focus too much on his iconic role as Michael Scott on The Office. Um, Steve? Jenna! <laughs> Number 10, Friendsgiving, Saturday Night Live. SNL's 44th season was somewhat uneven, but thankfully this Thanksgiving episode provided some much needed laughs, thanks to Steve Carell's guest hosting slot. <laughs> His thing woke up for just a sec, but then got scared again. One of the more memorable sketches of the night tied into this holiday theme, as Carell and Cecily Strong portray guests at a Friendsgiving party who inexplicably know the words to an obscure and weird Turkey Day tune. <laughs> It's a funny sight watching the pair try and keep up with each other as they sing a synth-pop ode to erectile dysfunction. But it's even funnier when the rest of the cast members in the sketch join in to sing along. Man, I can't believe we all knew that song. <laughs> or maybe, maybe it was just the magic of Thanksgiving. Number 9. Playing the Field, Crazy Stupid Love Many fans love Carell for his offbeat and over-the-top movie roles, but his performance in 2011's Crazy Stupid Love was something a little different. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God! Oh, oh. Divorce. <laughs> I'm so lucky. The film follows a 40-something guy and his attempts to get back out there in the dating scene after his wife asks for a divorce. Great goose, right? Rocks, two limes. I'm five years sober. This allows for Steve to be both funny and dramatic, with the results serving as something a bit more witty and adult-oriented. Are you really not going to tell me what you do? Uh... One particularly great moment in the film occurs when Carell is hooking up with his son's teacher, played by Marissa Tomei. When asked what he wants to do with her, he responds, I want to show you off to my ex-wife make her really jealous. <laughs> Number 8. Reading the Specials – The Dana Carvey Show The Dana Carvey Show was a sketch comedy program that suffered from being just slightly ahead of its time. Now, uh, wait right here and I'll get your money. Okay, okay we'll wait right here. <clears throat> Although the show enjoyed a cult following, it didn't even get to finish its first season before being cancelled. Those in the know, however, can recall this hilarious sketch featuring Carell and Stephen Colbert, then early in their comic careers. We have a... Oh. <laughs> we have a milk-fed veal with a uh, mint jelly. The sketch is simple. Two waiters are asked to read the daily specials to an off-screen customer, but the pair can't seem to get through each description without becoming ill. I can't. I can't. Mm. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Watching Colbert and Carell sweat their way through bouts of nausea as they recite rich recipe descriptions just gets us every time. Number 7. Growing Grew, the Despicable Me franchise. It isn't often that an animated villain can not only be one of the funniest aspects of a franchise, but actually turn a corner to become a hero. Next, we are going to steal! Pause for effect. We've had a great time watching this exact sort of character arc with Gru from the Despicable Me franchise, voiced with eccentric glee by Carell. I grab the moon, I sit on the toilet with what? <laughs> Sorry? Sorry! Sure, it helps that Gru has been impeccably animated by Illumination Mac Guff, but Carell's inimitable voice work has also helped Gru become the beloved character he is today. See you tomorrow, brother! Hey, I'm back on the job, so no villainy tonight! After all, successful sequels and spin off movies don't lie, right? Number 6. Even Steven, The Daily Show. We mentioned earlier how Steve Carell got an early start on The Dana Carvey Show, but the comedian also made a name for himself, alongside many other future stars, as a correspondent on The Daily Show. 
Carell had his share of memorable solo stories, including the Too Hot for TV bit. But for our money, it's his point-counterpoint debates with Stephen Colbert that take the cake. What you're suggesting about my access to sweet Malaysian skunkweed is just as ridiculous as if I said, hey, Stephen Colbert, why don't you and your wife come over some night this week and we can exchange partners? The segment was titled Even Steven and saw the pair argue hilariously over such topics as medical marijuana and religion, often going off the rails and off topic in the funniest way possible. You're saying that if we were to enter into some bizarre love quadrangle, you'd be supplying the weed. Yes. Okay, that sounds perfect. Great. These are well worth seeking out to this day, trust us. Number 5. Golden Globe's Acceptance Speech, the 63rd Annual Golden Globe Awards Let's be honest, watching celebrities accept awards on stage isn't always that entertaining. Thankfully, Steve Carell injected something fresh and funny into his acceptance speech at the 2006 Golden Globe Awards. Thanks also to an excellent cast, crew, and writing staff, all of whom I am indebted to. If it were not for you, I would not be here right now. I don't know about that. Carell had won the Best Actor Award for a Comedic Television Series and got onto the dais unprepared, ostensibly without a speech. Nancy, my precious wife, <laughs> who put her career on hold in support of mine and who sometimes wishes that I would let her know when I'm going to be home late so she can schedule her life, which is no less important than mine. He then pulled out something his wife, actress Nancy Walls, had written for him, which was just about perfect. Sure, the speech was peppered with all the people Steve was supposed to mention, but it also made sure to focus multiple thanks upon Nancy, all of which got the Golden Globes audience roaring with laughter. Number 4. Doing the News, Bruce Almighty Bruce Almighty was a witty and surprisingly smart 2003 comedy about a man who gets to literally play God for a day. Jim Carrey was fantastic in the title role, but it was Steve Carell's scene as Evan Baxter the Newsman that many fans still remember to this day. <laughs> <coughs> Baxter is the victim of a prank pulled by Carrie during a live newscast and is forced to speak nonsense and gibberish to his local audience. <laughs> it's silly, sure, but it gets us going every time. <laughs> the less said about Carell's spin off movie Evan Almighty, though, the better. Number 3. Kelly Clarkson, The 40-Year-Old Virgin Steve Carell superfans could argue that it was this 2005 film that signified the comedian's transition to Hollywood's main stage, and they wouldn't be wrong. The Judd Apatow project had a lot going for it, from the ensemble cast to Carell's awkward but likable performance in the title role. <laughs> it's the waxing scene that's endured the most from The 40-Year-Old Virgin, however, thanks to Carell's over-the-top histrionics and reaction to the grooming process. Specifically, the shouted line, Kelly Clarkson, was the one that made all the trailers and viral clips. And we gotta say, the scene is still hilarious today. Number 2. That's what she said, The Office Okay, we could have made this list entirely of clips from The Office, and we're gonna cheat and mention a whole bunch here, but only because we adore the show so much. The worst thing about prison was the... was the Dementors. They were flying all over the place and they were scary and then they come down and they suck the soul out of your body and it hurt! Michael Scott's kiss with Oscar and his scared stiff character of Prison Mike were both highlights for us, but our number two entry just has to be all the times Michael uttered that infamous line, That's what she said. It was a superb running joke in the series, and always found a new way to be funny and awkward, just like Scott himself. Well, you always left me satisfied and smiling, so... That's what she said! Before we name our favorite funny moment, here are some honorable mentions. I am Fabio. <laughs> and I would like to make you my very special lady tonight. I am here to announce a brand new delivery option that doesn't involve the post office at all. Amazon Caravan. Any package going to any Trump building will get delivered by hundreds of Honduran and Mexican immigrants. Let's do the shy mobster. Hey, yo, so, um, I don't know. I was thinking I'd maybe kill you. Number one, I Love Lamp, Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Speaking of funny and awkward, Steve Carell's Brick Tamlin in Anchorman has got to go down as one of the weirdest characters of all time. 
Seriously, who else could go from brandishing a trident in a news team fight to espousing his love of lamps in a single movie? I love lamp. I love lamp. You really want to know what love is? Yeah. Yes, tell us. More than anything in the world, Ron. Carell's Tamland was a joy to watch, especially as he bounces off the comedic timing of his co-stars Will Ferrell, Paul Rudd, and David Koechner. Where did you get those clothes? At the toilet store? Oh, and don't get us started on that brilliant harmonizing job on Afternoon Delight. We don't know what we're yelling about. It's pure comedy gold. Oh, that tickles! <laughs> that <is> tickles me! <laughs> Come on! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.